Whoa, no way. It just I just saw the autopilot sign. All right, so let's go for a drive. Go for a set. All right, the first thing is obviously Tesla needs still needs a lot of improvement on visualization because there's two cars in front of me and it's not sensing the two cars instead it's sensing the car in front of that uh, but I don't I won't get into that this the car got a lot more detailed like lit oh my god this is so detailed you can see the screen inside the car you couldn't do that before and the brake lights, they're more visible right now. Uh, previously, they weren't. Uh, you'd have to really take a very close look to see if the brake lights were like uh, illuminating on the animation here. But right now, it's it's huge, it's big, and you can see it. I have an 80% battery life. Um, and yeah, everything looks the same here. Okay, the turn signals are here right now. Ooh. I like this. It's on the corner. It's on the very corner. And yeah, this is so much. I feel like this is so much better. And I guess this is where the um, this is where I can see where my speed is at. It's so much better now. I guess this is where I can see the acceleration at and the region braking. So when once we get into the road, I'm going to do that as well. All right, so the first thing you can notice is basically the car can now see the lane lines even better because it's snowy right now. Like the roads are snowy, it's not snowing, but the roads are snowy and you can't see the lane lines. You can barely see the lane lines, but you can see the Tesla still trying to make out those lane lines. It can see the cars better. I don't know how it saw that arrow that was covered. Uh, it looks like there's a car in my blind spot. I guess that animation even got better. The lights. Let's take a left turn here. Honestly, it, it took me like five seconds to get used to it, but once you get used to it, it's really nice to have. All right, so I got into this gas station to see what the self-driving visualization looks like. It's not much of a difference. I can't really see much of a difference here. It's all blank. Just because like literally everything here is covered with snow. But I feel like the car is gonna learn more and more as it drives. Whoa, did you guys? All right, so this is something new. Oh, did you guys see that? So it can see. It's not the best yet, but it, it can see the lines, which is nice. So, okay, so I'm gonna do like a turn and look at that. You guys can see the wheels turning. That's how good the animation got. So let me turn my wheel. Whoa. So I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, that, that just made it worse. I don't know if you guys can see in the GoPro. Oh, whoa. So you can, this is so cool. You can see the wheels turning. All right, so this is annoying. How do I get rid of this? Okay. Zoom in. Look at this. Like I'm turning my wheels. I don't know if you can see this in the camera. Okay, this, this is not, I guess you guys are not seeing anything other than the screen, just because everything's so dark. All right, so I'm gonna give some light here and see if that works. Oh, you know what I think? I, where's my phone? All right, so I found my phone. I'm gonna use my phone's light to show you guys what the wheel looks like. That's the side of the car. If you look closely, as I turn the wheel, the wheel of the car moves. This is so cool. All right, so continuing on, let's take a right turn here. I'm gonna get into some parking lots and in some alleyways to see what the self-driving visualization looks like. So I don't have full self-driving, but I, I have I do have full self-driving visualization. So I guess the, uh, the reason why Tesla put it out there is because you can kind of gain more trust in the car as you see the car spotting all these things uh, as you drive. So 
there's no lean I can't find any lane lines here just because of all the snow so this is like a side street let's see what self driving does here whoa this is so freaking cool like there's literally no lane lines in the street but like Tesla can see that this you gotta be staying on the right side of the lane and not on the left side and it it's seeing the lane it's seeing which lanes you gotta stay at it's so nice all right so i'm just gonna drive through so there's a stop sign that seems hidden oh wow you can see that too so stop here and the stop sign all right so this is an unmarked parking lot as well yes it seems like it's lost right now whoa okay so it can still kind of make out try and make out like line, lane lines even though there's nothing here let's get into the parking lot can't see shopping carts i guess not um yeah it's kind of it, it it looks like it's kind of lost you know what i'm just in the middle of the parking lot maybe if i go on the side of the parking lot and see if it works yeah i can't i can't get enough of how awesome the animation looks like okay yeah there you go so it can it looks like if you're in the middle of the parking lot obviously it's like not as good okay i'll just let this let that ambulance pass so it doesn't mess up my audio all right so there you go like you can see that it got better like the visualization is so much better and f like full self driving can definitely work here in canada too when it comes uh, whoa no way it just i just saw the autopilot sign i'm gonna do it again and see if it can get it into autopilot nope all right you know what one last try it's good that it's Christmas and no one's out and no one's in these parking lots so I can do a full-fledged test on the new um, full self-driving visualization thing. Alright, so just going by. Oh, yeah, no luck. But it's, it's still good to see that it can still make out lane lines. So we're on the right side. You know what? I'm just gonna make a U-turn and be on the other side on the road and see how that works. All right, so if this works, this is gonna be crazy because there's nothing. Whoa, no way. All right, so it seemed like it was working because that kind of has like, um, what do you call those? Uh, sidewalks to kind of direct it on which side of the road it, it's on. But in here, like if you guys can see can you guys see okay yeah i guess it, it, it's like it's em oh, whoa it, it's working like even on the right side of the road where there's no curbs it can still kind of make out which side it's gotta be on yeah so i guess it still has a lot of space for improvement yeah there you go so this is basically what it what i'm supposed to do and whoa look at that even though there's no stop sign here tesla will stop here look for cars and then continue this is so nice i can't wait to get the new full salt driving when it comes to canada all right so let's take a u-turn and let's take it out on the road and I, I, I love how the speed is here. It's so much better. Like, I don't I didn't like it in the middle. Like, I guess I, I didn't have anything to complain about when I had it. But, like, when I have the new update, I wouldn't want to go back. All right, so. Let's see. Whoa. You know what? I'm going to do that again and see what the Tesla does until, like, I can get full self-driving again. Uh, I mean, autopilot again. So, I'm going to reverse and all right so i want to see what autopilot does here i don't have full self driving this is just autopilot so i still want to see what it does all right 
All right. All right, so it's an autopilot right now. And I, I want to see how far this goes. All right, so it wants my attention. And okay, so I'm still going to press the accelerator to see what the Tesla does. It looks like the Tesla is and would have crashed here. Kind of crashed it there myself. But yeah, so I guess that's basic autopilot for you. Maybe full self-driving could have done something, but we can't really be sure unless we we get the full self-driving update here in Canada. And, and I can show you guys the full self-driving if it works in the snow. But by the looks of it, by the looks of uh, self-driving visualization on my basic Tesla with basic autopilot, it, it looks like it can still handle the snow, even though there's like literally no lane lines, like you can't see any lane lines. I don't know what else to do. If you guys want me to do something new and um, something different that you guys want to test out on the Tesla, leave it down in the comment section and I'll do it. But by the looks of it, you this like this whole lane, you there's literally you can't see any lane lines here. Like everything is covered with snow. It's minus six today, but uh, yesterday it was it snowed a lot and then it turned to minus. Uh, near to minus 30 so everything just kind of um, deposited like the whole snow just kind of deposited onto the road and it it's like it made all the lane lines invisible so the Tesla can't see any lane lines but it can still make out the lane lines which is crazy so it can see all the green lights it will go left Whoa, it can make out those turnings even better now. All right, so here there's a couple of lane lines that you can see, but it's still, it's still bad. It's still covered by snow, but autopilot still says that it can take over. So I'm gonna let autopilot take over the next time I see the steering sign again. I wonder with the new update, if it can sense um, cars like that, maybe emergency vehicles and also um, sand trucks like that. That tells you to keep 50, you know, keep back 15 meters, and the Tesla actually listens to it, and you don't have to fix it through here. Okay, so maybe the lane lines here would work. Nope. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of like you gotta pay attention with the lane lines if you want to put it, the car into autopilot, because it still needs to see lane lines to put the car into autopilot basic autopilot so it doesn't have full self driving that's why it can't start in the middle of a parking lot also another thing to notice it looks like all the cautionary buttons and the seatbelt signs and also the traction control everything is on the vertical row right now so everything's here so if I take my seatbelt off it's here on the corner so I guess everything is shifted from here like all like clustered up and up here to just vertically here and I guess you guys saw that when I first um, started the car so you can just go back rewind the video and see it if you're like super interested all right I'm gonna take a right turn here and again the regen and the acceleration it's on the top right now so if I brake and regen it, you can see it up up on top here it's not as smooth as it was it was it it looks like it has like a 12 frame rate on it or like a it's not as smooth like back uh, before the update it was kind of like uh, it was very smooth you can see it but right now it's kind of glitchy I don't know why that is so maybe with another update that will fix it's just a minor thing I'm not complaining it's just uh, something that I noticed all right, so going 80 kilometers, the speed limit, and it can be put into autopilot right now. All right, so the differences that I can see with autopilot is, it's still the same here. Everything's this, like the lane lines are blue, this is blue, this is blue. But one thing that I noticed is the D up here also turns blue. So if I turn this off, it will say that, yeah, the D is not blue anymore. Okay, if I put it into just cruise control, the D is still not blue, but if I put it into autopilot, the D goes blue. So that's a small change that I guess um, I noticed. 
just here. Alright, so you can see you can see the car overtakes it and, it and then it slows down for some reason. Okay, there in no way there was a 60 speed limit sign on there, so it just thinks it saw a 60 speed limit sign, so that's something that Tesla needs to fix. And I don't have full self driving, so I'll just brake. <laughs> Uh, I'll just brake manually and it can see the stop line better so the stop line is here and this is oh wow like it can literally see how far it is from the stop line so if I go a little bit further I'm literally on top of the stop line right now so I don't know if you guys can see I'm just gonna turn the GoPro here but that's the stop line. I'm, I'm literally on top of the stop line right now. All right, green light. Go. All right, so left. It's a very slippery today, just because the, uh, the snow is uh, the snow melted a little bit, and they haven't really salted the roads roads that much today, just because it's Christmas. Everyone's home. All right, so this. Oh, missed it. Alright, there you go. Autopilot on. I can't see any more difference, so if you guys spot any more difference with the autopilot, leave it down in the comment section as well. Um, other than that, everything looks the same. The cameras are the same, nothing new. I guess you can kind of look around. I, ooh, whoa. This is so cool. You can see the wheels moving as well. Like you can see how fast the wheels are moving. Even though I don't have the air wheel cap, uh, caps on, but still like it looks so cool. So I guess that's all the things that I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, obviously there's more. So if you guys want me to cover more stuff, leave it down in the comment section so I can kind of do more videos with the new full self driving visualization. Uh, I can go, I've already done parking lots. If, you want me to go in different places i'll go so if you guys like the video smash that like button and also subscribe and hit the bell notification button if you're new to the channel uh that's the end of the video merry christmas guys good night